I guess I have that vibe. But that she has a look of horror on her face. Oh my god. It shows a lot. It shows a lot. There is a animal rights activist. Now just hold on. Even if you're not into animal rights, whatever, and you love uh, eating all the meat in the world, just just hold on and see if you still endorse what's what's going on here. And in the comment section, whether whether you're a meat eater or not a meat eater, whether you love meat or hate meat, I want to hear if you think this is the right thing that should have happened. Activist named Zoe, I believe Rosenberg, standing up for, for animals and against uh, factory farming, which is really torture farming. I've rescued animals from this industry. Since she was a child, like she was a young teen. 16 and determined, Zoe Rosenberg calls herself an animal liberationist. And she was part of these activist uh, projects in order to free animals, but in order to bring attention to how horrific Totally horrific. Our our torture farm, factory farms are. I interviewed her uh, a couple of years ago on, on my show. I actually interviewed her in the middle of a protest. I think it's actually the only live interview I had with people as they were protesting. I've been live streaming from protests, but it was the first one I think that I had as they were chaining down. They were, I was interviewing them. She freed some chickens, went into a factory farm, let out some sick chickens. And we're not talking thousands. We're talking like, one or two or something. And she's now facing 20 years in prison. Like she's a terrorist. So I'd love for you to throw into the comment section, those of you who are watching right now, throw in the comment section. Do you believe whether you eat meat or not, whether you love meat, whether you think all torture farming is best. And when I say torture farming, I'm not talking about all farming. I'm talking about specifically factory farming where animals are kept in cages, not large enough for them to turn around in their entire lives. Their entire lives, that's what they know. And it is, and they're just, uh, you know, they're they they, they are so tortured that they end up, uh, uh, you know, eating out all their own feathers and all this horrific shit because they're going out of their minds. But even if you love all meat, never criticize it. Do you think someone should get 20 years in prison for freeing a couple chickens? Because I would be interested in whether you support that level of fascism, even if you are a big, big time meat eater. But let's watch this video that she and a friend put together of them questioning people about her persecution. That's why my friend is facing 20 years in prison. Oh, she probably killed somebody for her dog. <laughs> Child slavery? You think I'm enslaving children? Maybe. She must have killed somebody for 20 years. You would think, right? Grand Theft Auto. It's the vibe. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I guess I have that vibe. She's wearing an ankle monitor and facing 20 years in prison for rescuing ducks. What? Ducks? Duck. Come on. Sounds very, very strange. I rescued two dying ducks from the floor of a factory farm where they were being criminally abused in Sonoma County. And to stop me from going back and rescuing more animals, they're making me wear an ankle monitor. Wow. That's not what I would have expected at all. And I'm actually potentially facing over 20 years in prison. Oh my goodness. My goodness. That's crazy. I do find that girl's response interesting because she's very obviously naive as to how horrific the U.S. government can be. This wakes people, like, she has a look of horror on her face. Absolute horror that someone could face 20 years for rescuing a couple of ducks. That horror is a realization of the level of fascism that our government and our so-called justice system is capable of. And most people don't know that it exists. They don't know that anyone could face 20 years for rescuing a duck. That is so messed up. I think they're out of their minds. Oh my God. That's completely unjustified. Wow. Okay. Can I pray for you? Yeah, you can. Uh, Jesus, I pray for Zoe. Do you think that they deserve to be rescued? Yes. Yeah, hard yes. I do, but I also eat meat, so I know it's kind of like a lot of BS to say that. No duck deserves just to get like beat up on. You were a hero going in and saving her. That company is not for go. Is there anything people can do for you? People can actually go to helptheducks.com okay. and uh, fill out a form to email the district attorney's office in Sonoma County and ask them to prosecute the true criminal, which is this company. Yeah. There you go. Zoe Rosenberg facing 20 years in prison for freeing a couple ducks. And it's not just about that specific situation. It's that showing people that situation reveals the level of fascism that our country is capable of. And fascism, you know, in its purest form is like corporate control of the government. Uh, and this is basically what that is. This is a very powerful company, Factory Farm, that wants this activist prosecuted uh, as far as the law will take it, as far as they can possibly get her locked up, as long as they can get her locked up. 
in order to stop her from raising attention and from rescuing more animals. It shows a lot, shows a lot about what this country does, where it stands, what it stands for. And if I should throw it in here, we are in absolute climate crisis. We are going beyond all conceivable levels of a heating planet and factory farming. Animal agriculture is actually the industry why in industry wise is the second to the oil industry because of climate crisis because of everything it entails it's not just the the you know uh, burping and shitting of the animals it is the amount of uh, food that has to be grown to feed the animals the amount of oil involved in feeding and watering and taking care of the animals the amount of land and deforestation that's involved in all of that so at every level the ocean dead zones that are created the amount of water used at every level, it is just destroying the environment. So it is the number one or number two industry in terms of climate crisis. And that's another reason that uh, Zoe Rosenberg is a hero.